In this question, we're given a system y of t equals x of 2t, and we want to check if it's a time invariant system. So to do that, we apply the test of time invariance. So we take our input and we delay it, and then we apply it to our system, and we check for the output, and then we do the same, but this time we apply it to the system before the delay, and we check for the output and we see whether these two outputs are the same. So let's try that for x of 2t. If x of 2t goes into our delay block, so it's delayed by a seconds, the output of that will simply be x of t minus a. And if that is the input to my system, and my system is defined as such, then it will be um, compressed in time, and every reference to time, t, will be replaced with t minus a. So I'm replacing t with t minus a. So I'll have x of 2 times t minus a. So that's x of 2t minus 2a. But if my signal x of t were to go into my system before applying the delay, then at this point, I would simply have x of 2t, because that's what my system does. And if I then delay that by a seconds, I'll have x of 2t delayed by a seconds. So here I've just applied a delay by a. I haven't replaced t with t minus a. I haven't done that. I did that here in the first instance, but I didn't do it in the second. So now I need to check whether these two are the same. And clearly they're not, because we have a, a greater time shift there. And because they're not, we can say that the system isn't time invariant, i.e. delaying the input by a seconds has had a different effect from delaying the application of the system or delaying the output of the system by a seconds. So we call such a system a non-time invariant or a time-varying system. So I'll say, therefore, not time invariant, or it's a TV system. That's how we'd refer to it, as a time-varying system.